I was actually curious the other day, since I already have these two ink devices, um, we have in the right the Lenovo Smart Paper and in the left the Books Note Air 2 Plus. And I actually, yeah, looked at them the other day and said, okay, what's actually the reason for which I purchased the Books Note Air 2 after the Lenovo Smart Paper? What did I actually like about the Lenovo Smart Paper? What I liked about Books Note Air 2 Plus and what I disliked about each of them? And I kind of give it a thought, um, not too much, not too little, and I decided to also share with you guys what uh, what are my thoughts are and the comparison between two these these two devices <laughs> into um, yeah the ink book world. So I will be going straight to it, and um, yeah, the main difference from the beginning when you decide to purchase. Uh, any of these two devices is that this comes right from the beginning as a bundle deal in one package and uh, this comes as a separate deal so you get the um, tablet and the pen separately in a box then you have to purchase separately the magnetic cover if you want to and also I got with this one replaceable nips which also comes as bundled and as default in the Lenovo Smart Paper package and for this one I got it separately so this was a bundle luckily when I purchased it but just keep in mind that you can only get this as a bundle but you can get this separately also so that's the main difference uh, even from the beginning now going further I will actually move to what you get in terms of the build quality of these two devices so I will leave for now aside the magnetic uh, case which has quite strong man magnets with uh, the Lenovo also strong as well with the uh, books note 2 but I don't think it's, it's as strong as the Lenovo we'll, but we'll get there soon first things first these two tablets are very similar in uh, shape and form factor so they both have like a big uh, thick area around the left side uh, depending on how you keep it I uh, try to keep it like that because I'm a right-handed person so I write with my right hand but they are very very similar in terms of the build quality and the way uh, they look in this in this area so both slippery on the mat that I have right now here both uh, build of aluminium really strong not flexing at least I didn't try to flex them too much so um, I got this um, <laughs> just by doing that I don't want to break them so build quality is really good for both of them I have no complaints in this uh, area neither for the Lenovo Smart Paper neither for books Note Air 2 Plus I think they are very well built and uh, and yeah it's it's quite a pleasure to have them in, in your hand or in the lap or on the table either one of them so that is actually a big plus in on the both side on the other hand yeah if you have to move forward the tablets both come with uh, the stylus so even if you get this just as the tablet you already all also will get the, the books um, stylus and also for the novel it's already a bundle deal with together with the case but you will get the stylus the form factors yeah are slightly different um, this one came actually with a protective uh, rubber I don't know, case <laughs> for the nib so um, to not damage the, the tip of the nib when you travel you put it in uh, your backpack and so on we don't have a protective cover for this uh, yeah Lenovo Smart Paper Stylus but we have something different which I will show you so and I think it's, it's a bit better in other way the Lenovo Small Paper Stylus is a little bit thinner than the Book Stylus. Um, I did felt okay with both of them in my hands, so this the way they feel in, in, in your hands is, is specifically yeah, based on every, each and every one of you. But uh, yeah, for me it was okay both of them, so I had a good feel with this one. Um, but I do think now that I'm actually keeping them in my hand again, it does feel a bit better uh, the book's uh, thickness, the big book stylus thickness, 
Uh, and with the Lenovo now that I'm keeping this in my hand together with the, with the books, it does feel that I have to, to put it a bit more. But yeah, in the long run, I say, I'd say that I've um, written down on the Lenovo smart paper for about two hours, and it felt okay. It didn't f my hand was not very tiring, um, but it definitely, uh, for sure, I can tell that I've written a bit more, <laughs> about four to five hours uh, on the books since I got it. So it didn't felt very uh, tiring or anything else in in writing with this uh, book stylus, which comes uh, as default in the in the books Note R2 Plus. Second point that uh, I want to put here, and I'll not continue with the magnetics of the stylus, but uh, to make it more obvious afterwards, I'll actually speak about the cases. So there are quite good cases that come with. Uh, with uh, Lenovo Smart Paper Stylus. Uh, this is a bundle, I will actually repeat this again. So this comes straight into the package. You have only one package for the Lenovo Smart Paper which has everything inside. And this is the, the magnetic case that comes with the Lenovo Smart Paper. And I do think that has really nice touch to it and uh, protects really well the device. To be honest, I do actually like the Lenovo Smart Paper case better than the uh, books not to case but it's just my my preference to this um, it does feel better to have one piece in uh, for the front side uh, other than having like um, a split cover and yeah you can make a stand out of it and just keep the um, tablet in a specific form which I've tried it and does give quite some opportunities of using the tablet uh, in such a way when taking notes and just having your your notes in front of your um, yeah, computer monitor and see there what's your to-do list or some or other points that you have written down on the ink device and that's actually a good thing on having this but overall in just having it over the, the tablet I don't actually like this uh, this three-way top cover I do like actually better the, the Lenovo Smart Paper cover, but this is more only my, my personal preference. And it does feel lighter. The Lenovo s feels slightly lighter than, uh, than the Books Note R2 cover. So overall, when you have them in your hand, um, this will feel, uh, feel a bit better and lighter than just the, the Books Note R2 cover. Now, they're both magnetic, so it's a really quick snap-in to this part. Just put a tablet, jiggle it around to, so the magnets can find each other, and that's pretty much it. And it's really sturdy magnet, so the tablet will not fall off it. And also for um, books, note L2, you have a similar situation. So this is really nice green. So this additional touch that I like <laughs> on the books, the color is really really nice. Okay, coming back to the magnets, you put it in one place and then it will actually stay there. So that's that's nice and uh, both tablets get a point for this aspect. And they both cover really well. It's magnetic cover and it has also sleep mode. And uh, the books also have this uh, additional magnetic flip, to call it like that. This will keep the, the stylus in place. And both tablets have the wake mode, both cases and tablets have the wake function, so when you open the case, they will wake um, into the, yeah, the notebook or what you have left in the last time you close the, the case, the lid of the case. And that's actually a nice feel because if you're writing something, you just put it in, in sleep mode, but you don't want to scratch it, or depending on what you're doing on where you are. Um, and you just open it and take immediately notes, and that's good thing for both of them. On the other side, the stylus have uh, for the Lenovo has two places on where you can you can put it, and one place is on the side, so it just snaps in here, and it's really strong magnets. Uh, you can put it here and it actually stays really well. And the other side, which Lenovo has implemented, uh, because you also have this. Uh, yeah, ditch it <laughs> like that a place in the in the case and also on the tablet has really strong magnets like you can put it here and then close it 
and it actually protects better the stylus this way and I actually felt more comfortable putting this device into my bag and yeah move around with it and I don't have to worry about the stylus that is getting damaged or anything else. With the Box Note 2 Plus on the other hand you have one, uh, one place to put it here snaps like that and then you close the cover and then this lid is actually to yeah keep the pen in place because the magnets for this one doesn't feel as strong as the ones from the from the Nova Smart Paper. So yeah, they can stay there but they come off quite easily. Another thing that I've actually found out with this uh, Books Note 2 is actually I just found it today while, while playing with it and trying to see if I can actually put the pen somewhere around here if there's any magnets. And there actually are some magnets here. How, okay, so if I can put like that this... Um, can I actually put it like that? Okay, so I can actually put like that. There is a magnet here on this side, but I <laughs> found out that this mag magnet is actually used by the case to detect when the lid is closed. So it will put in, in idle. Um, or in sleep mode, and when I take it off and detects no, there's no magnet here. It says that it's it comes um, yeah awake. This could be useful if you're purchasing only the tablet and not the cover. And then let's say you're just writing something, and um, yeah, I don't want to use the, the energy of the tablet and just put it in sleep mode. And in the same time, you park your uh, your stylus. So. Yeah, it's kind of stays there, doesn't doesn't fall off, so that's good touch. So that is good if you're using only the tablet without the case. But to be frankly, I think it's it's way better to have a case to protect it. So yeah, that's my opinion. And if I put it like that, because the magnet on the on the left side, you can see that doesn't actually wake up. So wakes up only uh, if uh, this side is is taken out. Yeah. Overall, from my own preference, I don't like this three-way implementation, as I said before, but uh, until I find something else, I'm actually going to use it, but I will also look to, to find some kind of different uh, case for the Books Note 2 Plus, which has only one piece in the front case, on the front uh, lid, just as the, the, no the Lenovo Smart Paper. On the other side, in terms of styluses, the magnets are not very strong, um, with the stylus from the books, but are very very strong with the from the stylus from the normal smart paper. So they snap in pretty much immediately and stays there really really well. So that's actually in my books a plus a plus for for the for the Lenovo smart paper, and somehow I do like better the implementation of this uh, place here to put the stylus and have it protected by the cover altogether. Not a total fan, and um, I will tell you why in just a second. Meaning that I do feel extremely comfortable, and I felt extremely comfortable transporting the Lenovo Smart Paper in my bags and everywhere else. However, if you want to, to write directly uh, with the lid like that, then there is actually a gap that is being formed around this side. This is really thin so it goes to one place but this you have a gap because of this um, um, hole right here in indentation but yeah we have plus and minus for um, this application however I will take the plus for this one even more than the minus because this felt uh, more secure to me and it, that did give me a quite uh, relief in, in carrying this and make sure I don't lose or break the, the stylus for this one, so that's a plus for me. Okay, moving forward in terms of the stylus, because it is intended to be used for taking notes, the feel of taking notes, how do they, do they actually feel on, on, this, uh, on these tablets? So I'll do it like that, the lip has also a magnet and you put it behind this so that's a good thing and then put it like that and it takes a little bit less um, let's say footprint on the table than the Lenovo so that's a plus also on, on this side but yeah I'll still I'll still take the plus for covering the stylus and have more protection to it 
than uh, than to this one. I was actually intending in the first place to put uh, to put notes here and say okay which one is plus and minus, but uh, I will have to decide it in the end because after all it's my perspective and you ha might have a different perspective depending on your use case and how um, you like it more. But yeah, going back back to the fill, um, I ended up liking more the way the books noted to stylus fills on the on the screen. So I'll erase the entire layer and jiggle a bit around here. As I said, I've used this straight for about four to five hours, I'm taking notes um, to a course of I w which I was, and it felt really okay. It doesn't actually feel like uh, pen on paper, but it's really close to this uh, feel, and it does have some friction to it, and it has also some the noise, uh, which you can look to my other video to, to hear exactly how, it, how it's going. For the Lenovo Smart Paper, however, it's a bit different story. So, in the note taking part, try to put it as much as possible side by side. In the note taking part, uh, I will erase here also the all. We don't have so many options here. But, oh, okay. It's in the eraser, I have to put it on the pen or liner. I like to use the liner more here. So on the Lenovo Small Paper, the responsiveness is really quick, but um, it slides more. This pen slides more on this screen. So on the long run, if you're writing on this for, for long term, for me it actually my writing kind of got a little bit sloppy. So I was not writing the words and the letters as well as I did in, when I started to write uh, them. So after an hour even two hours, then your handwriting is <laughs> almost like my scribbles right, right here. So the Lenovo Small Paper Skin overall doesn't feel so paper-like or even yeah, that close to the paper-like as the books not Air 2 Plus. And yeah, the writing start, starts to, to get more scribbly, <laughs> to say like that, over the long run. And this is, yeah, my take with it, uh, unfortunately. What I actually enjoyed more with the small paper is that you have quite a lot of options here in terms of pens and tools and what not to use in writing and drawing. So I think this could be actually better for those who want to sketch a bit more. Maybe that will be more useful to it, but uh, yeah, that's that. You also have it with uh, Books Note Air 2 Plus. You do have quite some options here, but in terms of pens, you don't have that many. So it's like brushes, no, what is here? Pen, brush, ballpoint, then pencil, and then just marker. And I tend to use the, the pen to, yeah, more with this one. You do have quite a lot more options. So the note taking app, default app, does have a lot more options than the default not taking up on the Lenovo small paper because that's one menu that you have and then there's the second menu and that's everything you had for the not taking up. As here you have even a bit more on this side. So that's that. But yeah, more details in my uh, books not to plus review. You can see it there. What else? What do we have here? Hide it. Yeah. So pre pretty much that uh, that is it with this one. What also both of them have? I've decided to. Doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it should work. You should. Yeah, you have to swipe twice here to um, to get back. You you have also the library part. You can read PDFs or uh, books or um, yeah different format of books. I have tons of PDFs and I upload uploaded them here. Um, I had some PDFs also uh, put it here, but uh, and tried to look over both of them. And it's okay for me. So I don't I don't have anything yeah special to to give here. Uh, I do like both sides. You can annotate on both, but um, I think PDFs here you have a bit more options what you have here and i've tried it which i have not found 
in any settings on the Lenovo Smart Paper is the fact that you can split screen. So for example, if you have uh, a PDF which is a course and you have another PDF which is a quiz and you want to yeah, practice it, you just can you can split the two the screen in two and have one and have the course PDF here and then just look through it and answer the quiz and that actually works quite well. Further what's going on here you have already probably realized if you have looked or tried to look over the ink devices that uh, both of them look very similar in terms of layout for the um, yeah, for the operating system and that is because they both use Android 11 but they're not the same <laughs> so they both use Android 11 but Lenovo Smart Paper does not have access to the Google Play Store so um, you cannot go directly to the to the Play Store and download apps. I have a couple of apps downloaded here, and the way I have to do it is either go through the browser, in this case is Firefox, and yeah, search for a um, website which has APKs for the applications that you want to download and to use it, or um, the way that I actually did more was to go through that app website in my computer and then download them the APKs on my computer and then transfer them via the USB C port to the Lenovo Smart Paper device and then click it and up and install it from here so it takes a quite a bit more route and I tried the playbooks you cannot actually use the playbooks or anything related to Google Play Store so that's uh, that's that here so this has some limitation, this does not have some limitation, you can pretty much install every, every app here. Just go into the Play Store, search for the app and download it and if it's compatible with, your, with, this, with the ink devices then it will run. So yeah, you have OneNote, I also have OneNote here which I can also link to my account, to the Microsoft account. But I did found out that OneNote on the BooksNote Air 2 Plus uh, tend to work smoother than the OneNote on the Lenovo Smart Paper. So if you are a OneNote user, you might want to have this in mind. Kindle work, works quite well on both of them, so I did not see any specific issues in this regard. So yeah, any other apps I then didn't actually bother to bother to install it and use it. What is additionally um, is the fact that the Books Note 2 Plus has a speaker inside. Lenovo Smart Paper app does not have a speaker inside, so that's why maybe you are, you are seeing already the music app here, which is default for Books Note 2 Plus, and there's nothing here as default. However, yeah, both of them has Bluetooth, and you also can connect with the uh, Lenovo Smart Paper uh, headphones and listen to audiobooks or music or whatever you have installed. But you have to bring the audiobooks to this device from uh, out outside sources rather than just install the app directly here and run it. You definitely, if you have an outside source to download, um, I don't know, uh, audiobook, um, let's say the yeah, application, which has an outside account, and obviously you can connect it to it and run it from there, so there will not be any other issues, but it will take longer to actually reach that point with Lenovo Smart Paper than with the books Note F2+. Plus. So also yeah, have that in mind. What's... Um, Something that I like is, yeah, overall I like more the implementation of the Android 11 with the Books Note 2 Plus because of the accessibility and the ease of use. You have Google Drive, which connects almost instantly with the Books Note 2 Plus. I've actually disconnected from uh, my Lenovo Smart Paper with a Google Drive account because it took quite a while to load it and it didn't felt very uh, functional to me uh, to actually use the Google Drive to, to the Lenovo Smart Paper. However, with the Books Note 2 Plus it's quite seamlessly, so it already have a, quite a bunch of um, accounts that we can link with the Books um, yeah, device and it's seamlessly to transfer the files from the Books to your computer or to an Android device and that's really good. Speaking of sharing notes and everything else, specifically notes, I will put it here. Both um, yeah, platforms 
have also an application that you can install on uh, Android device, uh, an external Android device like a mobile phone, and can be used. However, there's a major difference there, meaning that for the books uh, platform, you can use a device and you you get from the beginning as a new user free 10 gigabytes of storage to to use it until it's full. For the Lenovo Smart Paper device, you don't get it for free. You have options, you have applications, and you can uh, on the yeah phone, mobile phone, you can download it, install it, connect it with a, your account, with a Lenovo account. But you have zero bytes from the beginning. You have to pay um, monthly. Uh, no, I think it's three months or one year or six months, depending on how you want to to purchase that. And yeah, it's a payable service if you want to share your notes between devices between devices yeah, and that's sad to actually have it like that so that was actually another reason why i chose to try also the books not to plus device additionally what i have seen that is not uh, available the box not to plus they both have backlights but um the lenovo small paper has adaptive brightening so it has a sensor and it will automatically adapt the the lighting to yeah whatever is around and you also have it here to yeah increase the color temperature decrease have it more bluish or more um, yeah yellowish for the not to be so strain on your eyes to put so much strain on your eyes does you don't have it something like that um, on the books note that to have an automatic uh, adaptive lightening However, you also both warm light and, and cold light. But what you have additional here, which I have not seen in the Lenovo, is the fact that you can change the light by a slider on the sides. And this I have put it more on the on the review for this Booksnoter 2 Plus device. Okay, so both these tablets have um, a full review. Um, I think I will actually make a, a one month review after I've used this tablet for one month and give you some more tips and tricks to it but so far i think it's um it's um has overlived <laughs> the lenovo even though it has been for less time in my hands just simply by the fact that it has quite a lot of functions that work better with my use case additionally moving moving forward um there's one thing that i actually like with um lenovo smart paper and that is the charging port <laughs> They both have USB-C, but based on how the case was used, you actually have the char charging port open and it's not obstructed by the, the case, so you can charge it while having the case flipped closed. However, with the Books Note 2 Plus, you have the charging port right in the middle. So, when if you want to charge it or yeah, transfer files or anything, and you close the case, then you cannot access the charging port at all so that's also uh, yeah a factor that you might want to consider or not depending on your uh, your your use case so overall with me um this is the day which i will actually <laughs> um, put my lenovo smart paper device into factory settings and return it because yeah after more than a month of use with uh, with this device and two weeks about use with books uh in device i've uh, already leaned more to the books device and i actually even use it more than the lenovo small people haven't used it for about the day i purchased the books so this is actually the first time since I purchased the books that I um, opened the, the Lenovo Smart Paper, I even had to charge it because I almost had no battery left in it. Uh, and speaking of battery, I actually found out that the books noted to uh, battery, yeah, keeps for more days than the Lenovo ba battery did. So, yeah, that's another plus for me. Overall, that will be it. Thank you for watching this video. Yeah, I hope you have your take here and your comparison for what device you want to purchase for the for the future. Both devices are really great, and if the Lenovo Smart Paper would have the 
software implementation of the books, I would actually prefer the, the, the Lenovo Smart Paper in terms of the build. Even though the tablets are really similar to each other, I really like more the magnet implementation and the way the, this stylus is being protected by the cover as it is uh, right here, even though it has some increase and kind of has some, some um, let's say, fatigue to your hand when you write it like that for a long period of time. I think I would have still chosen the Lenovo Smart Paper if the software implementation was at least close to, to what Books has done. We have like a full Android implementation with the Play Store and with all the, the, the functions here because Lenovo Smart Paper is not a bad tablet, not a, not a bad device for taking notes and all, but in my case and in my view I think the software is the one that uh, put it uh, on the on the shelf for me and make it return it so yeah that is that um, I hope you take your um, uh, yeah, points from uh, from this review and yeah I hope you like it I hope you share it and subscribe for the future videos thank you and see you next time